Now, you said there be a, that one of your prophet friends, uh, or Dave Wilkers, I'm not sure, but you, you say it in, I don't know if it's in your books, but you preach it, that there'll be a crash of a European bank, a, a country, and then uh, the crash will come to the United States banks will crash. And the Greek stocks, here's the headline this week, Greek stocks plunge, banks hammered after five week the crisis of the shutdown. And so the beginning of what you've been teaching is happening. Well, America is in trouble. Well, the world, know, China's crashing. The, the markets in China yeah. are crashing right now. We're, we're going to see a domino effect. Some people say it's going to start in Germany. And then it'll domino to America. Oh my! If it's the, if know, it goes to Ger it, Germany, it's supposed to be strong. Exactly. In fact, so, uh, some, Greek some, Greece is looking to Germany some, to help yeah, them. And some people are saying that if that if Greece collapses, all of Europe will collapse. Well, here's here's my take. There will be a collapse that will lead to a domino to where everything will come down. But I personally believe that there are what I call globalists that have a plan. And have a solution, and it's already penned down. It's already laid out. You know what I mean? This is not going to be something where they, where the nations get together and they just all of a sudden come up with this idea for a global one-world government and a global economic solution. I believe that this is all figured out, and I believe they have a launch date. Okay, and and therefore they will not allow the stock market to collapse until the timing they have chose. They will not allow Greece to collapse. When it looked like Greece was going to collapse a couple weeks ago, I said in the back of my mind, on my, on the back of my mind I'm saying, nope, they're not going to allow it. Yeah. They will come up with the solution. They will prop them up because when Greece comes down, that could be part of where they basically pull out the props and say, let it all go down. You know, I, when I was in prison, I was in pri one of my cellmates was one of the, presidential candidates for years a, a man who had information gathering they say next to the United States and so I would read his it was like teletype pages that would come in envelopes into the prison cell where I was can you believe that and this information was about the banks was about the stock and how we have made deals to shore up the stock market so they don't crash. And I've watched the stock markets drop lately. You know, they go down and they go, and I was, oh, they're coming up. And then it goes down, they come back up again. I'll tell you what, you see it going down the night and then the next morning it comes back up. They're putting everything all night long. China. China is making, they are making the big corporations in China, they make them buy their own stock because China is crashing. This is right now. Chinese shares fall. As it falls, the real fear is that the economy itself in China is grinding to a halt. Here's what I read this week. They are, they built, how many know there's a tremendous amount of cities in China that have no people in them. I mean, skyscrapers, streets, pavement, everything. I, I mean, restaurants, everything built. It's insane. They thought in the future people would buy them. Their people invested in that. They said with a crash now, there's no one left to buy the condos. And you know, you touched on it, but I read last week that the... Uh, the government is not allowing the big stockholders to sell their shares. 